ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ फर्दर वी आर नाउ मूविंग फर्दर एंड अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द टॉर्चर टॉर्चर इज बियॉन्ड एनी डाउट अ क्राइम प्रोविटेड बाय द इंटरनेशनल लॉ आफ्टर एग्जामिनिंग द रिलेवेंट ट्रीटी एंड कस्टमरी इंटरनेशनल लॉ इन 1998 द आईएसटीवाय इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल क्रिमिनल ट्रिब्यूनल फॉर युगोस्लाविया प्रोनाउंस दैट द existence of this corpus of the general and the treaty rules pr- uh, prescribing torture shows that the international community aware of the importance of the outla- outlying this heinous phenomena has decided to suppress any manifestation of the torture by operating both the interstate level and uh, or the level of the individuals no legal loopholes have been left the prohibition on the torture under international law is absolute the right not to be tortured is a right which allows of no derogation the prohibition of the torture is just cogens and the states incur international responsibility of uh, uh, if their officials commit torture the prohibition applies also in times of the emergencies or war without any exceptions or justifications so torture absolute pro- what uh, what what is the crux of the above discussion is that the torture is the absolute provision of the torture provision uh, of the torture constitute just cogens and provision of the torture applies in times of the peace and during armed conflicts under the international humanitarian law Uh, torture is prohibited by the 1949 Geneva Convention and the 21977 additional protocol of uh, the Geneva Convention torture can constitute a crime against humanity under article 7 of the ICC statute article 5 uh, clause f of the ISTY statute and article 3 clause f of the ISTR statute torture is also Uh, war crime under the article 8 uh, uh, paragraph 2 clause a sub clause 2 of the icc statute and article 2 uh, clause b of the isty statute and article 4 clause a of the istr statute in the time of war or internal armed conflict military personnel can be found liable for the committing the war crimes of the torture if they torture a member of the enemy military or civilian private individuals not acting in a official capacity can also be found liable if uh, if they torture a member of the enemy military or protected person who are same nationality as the enemy or under the control of the enemy to qualify a war crime the torture must be linked to an armed conflict <clears throat> torture committed in time of the internal <clears throat> or international armed conflict or in time of the peace may amount to a crime against humanity if it is part of the wider spread of systematic practice or attack on a population which is a requirement for all crimes against humanity the torture must also know that his acts of the form part of the wider spread of systematic attack non military and non state officials may also be held liable for the crime moreover Uh, to these legal regimes international criminal law also prohibits torture as a discreet crime torture therefore exists as a crime per se in addition in uh, to as a crime against humanity and as a crime of uh, war crime torture is a discreet crime is punishable no matter when or where it is committed with liability attribute uh, attributable uh, to the individual who commits the crime the provision on a torture being a part of the customary international law all states have jurisdiction to prosecute those who engage in torture it means it is a universal jurisdiction the necessary element of the torture as discreet crime is that it must be inflicted by or at the instigation of with the consent of the acquiescence 
of the public official or other person acting in official capacity so there are three categories of the torture as an international crime torture is a war crime torture is a crime against humanity and torture is a uh, discrete crime international human rights law also recognize the right to be free from torture this right is uh, non derogable the definition of torture under international human rights law human rights law does not require the involvement of the public official or a state agent nor does it require an armed conflict or wider spread or systematic attack therefore in many ways it is a wider definition than under any other legal regime however um, human rights violation does not constitute an inter international crime per se rather it is a violation of the relevant uh, treaty obligation uh, of the state who are involved there are many treaties both international and regional uh, that ban the use of torture keep in mind students uh, the law which govern the legal framework uh, which uh, uh which cover uh, and which uh, which put the ban on the use of torture there are a lot of international and uh, domestic or regional uh, treaties uh, although few provide uh, any definition for torture as noted many human rights treaties prohibit the use of the torture as a human rights violation other instrument of the international humanitarian law and international criminal law encapsulate Uh, torture is a war crime or crime against humanity these documents are informative for ascertaining the nature of the customary norm however the most thorough codification of the definition of the torture can be found in article 1 paragraph 1 of the 1984 united nation convention against the torture and other cruel inhuman degrading treatment or punishment uh, uh, which we call uncat uncat International humanitarian law, while uh, outlining torture in armed conflict, does not provide a definition of the provision. In the absence of the express definition of torture under international humanitarian law, the ISTY um, uh, turned to human rights law, namely the definition of the torture provide, provided in the Article One of the UNCAT. The ISTY has concluded that the uh, U, uh, United Nations uh, CAT definition reflects a consensus uh, with the trial chamber considered to be representative of the customary international law is held by the trial chamber in Fundija case. In that case, uh, the broad convergence of the international instrument and international jurisprudence. Um, And demonstrate that there is now general acceptance of the main elements contained in the definition set out in the Article One of the Tor uh, Torture Convention. So, in the case of uh, Kunarek Intel, the trial chamber identified the following three elements that remain contentious. Number one, the list of the purpose for which torture is inflicted. Number two, the connection with the armed conflict. Number three, the requirement that the act be inflicted by or at the instigation or with the consent or acquiescence of the any public official. Beginning with the United Nations uh, Convention uh, on the Torture Definition, this. section will outline uh, the element contained in the customary international law definition of torture as a discrete crime before briefly highlighting the different uh, uh, different differences in definition of torture under the international and regional international regime so uh, the uh, convention that is the 1984 united nation convention against the torture in in that uh, treaty uh, that convention the article 1 of that convention provide the comprehensive definition regarding the torture this definition of torture can be divided into physical uh, element or mental element of that crime and both must be satisfied for an act uh, to rise to the level of the torture the physical element actus rea the physical element uh, of the crime of torture in the that convention uh, united nation uncat uh, 
uh, an act by which a severe pain or suffering whether physical or mental uh, is inflicted upon a person such pain or suffering must be inflicted at the instigation or with the concerned or acquiescence of a public uh, official or other person acting in the official capacity and uh, such pain or suffering does not include pain or suffering arising only from inherent or, in or in incidental or lawful sections where all four of these elements are satisfied the physical element of the crime of the torture will be satisfied uh, what will be the defenses of uh, that uh, crime a torture is never permissible or justifiable under any circumstances no circumstances can be used to justify to use of the torture therefore torture has no any defense available to those who committed apart from the demonstrating that the element have not been satisfied what will be the jurisdiction uh, under the uh, united nation cat uh, convention state parties are required under article 4 to legislate to make torture a criminal offense all the state the member state of united nation make the torture uh, uh, is a criminal offense they are also required to either prosecute allege torture or extradite them to a state that has the proper jurisdiction for the purpose of prosecution under customary international law states are required to prohibit acts of the torture and prevent individuals from being placed in a position where they are likely to be tortured states are also required to ensure individuals in their territory are able to complain to competent authorities about the uh, torture allegations so what will what are the other relevant instruments uh, regarding uh, the uh, torture Uh, some other international instruments relevant to the torture include 1949 geneva convention and two additional protocols 1977 these prohibits the use of the torture during the armed conflict as noted uh, earlier discussed uh, these international humanitarian law instruments have no requirement of involvement by the public official In 1975 general assembly declaration on torture this was adopted by the consensus and contains a very similar definition of torture to one contained in uh, united nation convention uh, on the torture in 1985 inter american torture convention this contains a broader definition of torture than the united nation uh, convention on the torture it does not require a severe threshold for the pain or suffering inflicted no physical pain or mental anguish is required for the Uh, torturer's uh, purpose is to be obliterate uh, the personality of the victim or to diminish his physical or mental capacities additionally the list of purpose provided in the definition of torture includes any other purpose leaving in the list of the applicable purpose much wider than the united nation uh, convention on the torture and uh, next uh, Uh, echr article 3 uh, this instrument has been found not to require the involvement of the state organ or agents to satisfy the definition of the um, torture uh, last uh, instrument is the is iccpr the united nation human rights committee has found the, that the article 7 of the iccpr does not require the involvement of the state organs of the agents to satisfy the definition of the torture Now, apart from the amounting to human rights violation under the various uh, human rights uh, treaties torture can be um, conceptualized as a three distinct violation of the international criminal law first torture can be a crime against humanity when it is committed as a part of the wider spread or large scale criminal conduct in peace time or in a war second torture can be a war crime when uh, committed in a connection with an armed conflict third torture can be a discrete crime for which an individual can attract liability at any time and in any country under customary international law is a discrete crime torture applies uh, to a narrow category of the actions that satisfy the physical and mental elements outlined above though the requirements may appear uh, quite difficult to satisfy they are in uh, place due to the uh, far reaching application that the discrete crime of torture has a customary norm of international law and no differentiate it's from torture when committed 
in the two other categories of the international violation or indeed as domestic crime torture in the context of the domestic prosecution on the basis of the universal institution is discussed uh, earlier that uh, uh, that is the uh, all the member state of united nation has to ensure or make sure that uh, their uh, domestic law which prohibits the any form of the torture uh, on these their citizens uh, so students uh, it uh, uh, we have discussed uh, regarding the uh, terrorism uh, international terrorism their forms and uh, their convention uh, which actually uh, which actually work on uh, those type of crimes and there after torture as we as we know when the uh, we put any human being uh, in a suffering or in a pain that is the form of torture is not uh, it is not admissible it is not allowable it is not acceptable in a, uh, in any state member state of the united nation and it is prohibited strictly uh, no citizen can be severely tortured physically tortured mentally tortured by any uh, official of the state whether it is the incapacity of the official or in private so i hope uh, this uh, this scheme of lecture uh, help you a lot uh, in order to understand the terrorism torture and the transnational crimes uh, in the uh, ambit or in the preview of the united nation and other instruments Uh, very helpful so our next topic inshallah uh, uh, we will discuss in next part of this uh, lecture uh, that is the corruption and the convention of the corruption by the united nation so thereafter the, we will discuss uh, that will be our last topic that is the immunities and defenses of the international criminal law so thank you very much and uh,